Uh, right now, there's efforts going on to create more social connections between people who live in Connecticut in response, of course, to a rise in loneliness that we've seen so much so that it's even been declared a public health crisis. Well, the Connecting CT Conversation Series is starting this week to try to combat that and to talk more about it. I'm happy to have Deb, Big Deb Bivens and Gary Sikorsky from the group For All Ages with us this morning. And good morning to both of you. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Wonderful Good, to be doing here. Well. Doing great. <laughs> Glad to have you here, too. And uh, before we talk about sort of the, the loneliness problem, I just want to get right to the good news because you wanted to talk about that. L tell me well, about this sort of the series of conversations when the first one's happening and what people can expect to get out of them. Sure. So the, the Connecticut Collaborative to End Loneliness um, was, was an initiative that we launched a year ago. Yeah. And in order to get the word out, we're hosting this series of conversations starting this Wednesday. Yeah. Um, we will be at Central Connecticut State University from 3.30 to 5 in the afternoon. This event is open to anyone who would like to attend, really high school age and up. Okay. Um, and it's all about bringing people together to learn from each other, to learn from the panelists that we'll have. We'll have some mm -hmm. experts on, so some clinicians. And most importantly, we'll have people with lived experience sharing ah. their story of either loneliness or social disconnectedness and then overcoming that. Um, and the second half of the event is where we engage the audience. Okay. And everyone will go home with a four-part um, solution to their own social connectedness and how to improve their social health. Yes, uh, now I imagine it's not just about making connections, but also trying to connect different generations too, right? You mentioned lived experience. You want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, what really happens is when it happens to all of us at some point, all sorts of transitions in life can lead to being alone, not yeah. feeling like you belong. And this is addressing that. There's nothing wrong with anybody for feeling lonely or a little bit, not like you're feeling part of the group. So this is what it's all about. How to bring connections together with intergenerationally is a great way to do it. So that's what this is all about. Yeah. What else do you hope that people will take away from it if they go on Wednesday? And I know while you were talking, we had a list of some of the other conversations too, but if there's anything else you're hoping they get out of just that insular event, what are you hoping they get? I, I think just the understanding that social health is the foundation of our mental and physical health. Yeah. As humans, we're social beings and we all need social connection. <laughs> and when we strive to help ourselves, we're automatically helping at least one other person. And it doesn't cost anything. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> fundamentally <laughs> social right. beings. It, right. uh, I think people really underestimate that. And it becomes so yes. easy to have yes. simulated social contact with, uh, you know, online and whatnot. And uh, by the way, I should mention, you know, Fox 61, the Techno Foundation, uh, happy to sort of partner in this effort, too. But for the group for all ages, before we lose time, you also wanted to mention that uh, you're a big beneficiary from the of Hartford Marathon the, this year. The, yes, we are, Tim. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, October 19th, this is Saturday. We are the premier charity for this year's Hartford Marathon, which we're very proud of. Proud yeah. of. And we're really excited. So we're asking for people whether they've already signed up. If they want to be involved, they can go to our webpage, which is forallages.org, and go underneath the Take Action tab, and they can get, get all the information right there. But we're really excited. We'll be in Charity Village. Mm -hmm. It's a great opportunity to spread awareness and social connection with all sorts of people you know or you don't. Forallages.org. .org, .org. To make yes, sure it Sometimes is. that suffix gets lost for people. <laughs> uh, that is wonderful. Congratulations on being well, uh, such a big beneficiary this year. And again, the first conversation happening Wednesday. Happening Wednesday. And LonelinessCT.org to sign up. And LonelinessCT.org. Org. Dot org yeah, to sign up. Sure we got it. All right, Deb, Gary, thank you both for being here today. Thank of you for having us. Of course, we'll have us. those two websites on fox61.com yeah. to make it easy for you, too. But we want to make sure that you guys get the, uh, you know, the, the address directly, too.